trouble. That's what's up. That's what I. That's what I like to hear. Hi Bart. So I'll be starting in a second, I'm just getting everything sorted. I'm alright. I was just checking where I was actually up to in this game. So this is the hospital we were on last time. So this is the, the research and training hospital that we had. So I've expanded it out and tidied it up a bit to get it up to the three stars. So we can build little reception areas now like I've got here. We've got GP's offices. This is the all important training area where we've been able to train everybody up. We've got some pretty well trained staff now. So like Alex is a specialist GP. Manu is one of our specialist researchers. Um, we've got all sorts. And you can just train them up with whatever skills you want. It is well worth as well having like somebody just specialise in one thing, like most of the people who go to see Alex now will get to like 90 odd percent of their diagnosis just in one visit. Just They'll just go and see him and it'll almost be done. I've got, here's our research lab where Manu and her assistant work. And research is well worth having because it lets you unlock new rooms really quickly. So you can get upgrades for stuff through there. Um, what's available? It's 
so like you can get upgrades for stuff to make them better so higher cure rates or better diagnosis you can get new rooms as well so one of the things i unlocked or two of the things i unlocked are over here so we've got an x-ray now and we have this as well which is the the mega scanner which is basically like a giant mri machine and those are really useful for diagnosis like anything that's really tough can go through those two but i didn't even have to buy the rest of the rooms for this place i just built it up and up like you can get other stuff for the research room as well so there is something you can get soon like after this level that lets your janitors deposit ghosts in it so if you do have somebody die the janitor goes and hoovers up the ghost and they'll then go and drop it in your research room so you can work out how that person died and get stuff like boost up your cure rate for those things so the next hospital we have is this one treats all manner of breaks and bruises in this subalpine playground countries home for hiking fishing and falling down so i think this is the one where we're going to get the fracture ward and everything like that yeah this isn't even half of it like it can get crazy complicated so welcome to tumble the small town attracts tourists from across the county to climb tumble ridge and hike along the tumble downs Lucky for us, it generates hundreds of fractured bones each year. Cha-ching. We'll need to build a fracture ward to deal with these injuries. I recommend building a standard ward and some other essentials too. Make sure to keep everybody warm with some radiators. Tumble has been known to experience seismic activity, so look out for earthquake warnings. We'll need janitors ready to deal with... Ah. Oh. So this is going to be those ones where stuff breaks all the time. Let's pause it while we do some building. Some parts of the county are quite old or too hot. If the warm off not too warm, if people are too cold or too hot, they come and help you might leave. Cold locations place radiators, hot locations will need air conditioning. Use the temperature visualization to identify cold and hot areas. Make all of the hospital comfortable temperatures and maximize our thermal comfort rating. So entrances are here and here and then you're the emergency entrance so i think we'll build our reception down here um how big's that area that's three so i think i'll put gp offices there and put the reception down this side so i can afford to make this a little bit bigger Yeah, that'll do. Put the hatch at this end. Yeah, the um, they start throwing challenges and stuff like that. At, yeah, like you'll get some areas where people will purposely get sick and like come into the hospital and you get areas where there's virus outbreaks and you've got to it'll give you a hint so it'll say something like oh yeah there's a a virus outbreak been detected in your area and the person doing it will like randomly stop and raise their arms and you've got to inoculate them and like hunt them down and things like that Hi Brina! So I'm going to need radiators. I know I am. Because they've already mentioned it. Let's get them a coffee machine. So these guys are always going to need coffee. And plants. What else can we give them? Oh, I've got plenty of points for unlocking stuff. Let's give them a radio. 
from an old-fashioned boombox. We've got aircon units, carnivorous plants. Mm. Yeah, that should do them for now. So there's our reception. So seeing as we're not on the training level anymore, it'll give us people with better skills. So customer service, hygienic, positive, weak bladder, but they're a heartthrob. Their best friend is an ostrich. Customer service, stamina, training, customer service, emotional. Right, so I'll tell you what, we'll get you and we'll get you. Now we need some GP's rooms. The only thing I miss from this was even though you can copy and paste rooms, you can't save the layout if you want to use it on a different level. So like I've made GP rooms on the previous level, I can't save the layout of those just to paste them into this one, which would be really useful. Gnome. Everybody gets a gnome. A rug, some posters in case he forgets what people look like. Notice board, and some drawings from the kids. Right, what else can we get in? Medical cabinet, weighing scales. to move the gnome is blocking stuff. There. Hot chocolate trophy case. Painting. Give him the dog's painting. There we go. Another painting of a corgi. Ah, need to rearrange it a little bit. Put one there. Uh, we're gonna need plants and benches. You're right for plants there, so now for benches. Alright Manu.
Yeah, it took me a while to find them. Like I was looking for like there's a bunch of different plushies from the seller I got them from. Hi Stat. And he had a bunch of legendaries and I was searching to see if I could find Latios and Latias anywhere. And he restocked them like I put a watch on his shop and he restocked them. So I bought them as soon as they appeared. Right. So we've got GP offices. We're going to need some GPs. Right, who have we got? Class Clown, Short Temper. But he is qualified to use our mate radiology stuff. Got this guy who's a trainee. And he's an entertainer. And we've got somebody who's qualified researcher, but he's lazy. So I think I think we should get We'll get this guy who's qualified with radiology. And we'll get Yeah, we'll get Sandy. She's only a trainee, but Yeah, I am tempted to get myself. Um, there is a Squirtle they do with the Kamina glasses, the Squirtle Squad glasses. I'm tempted to get one of those for myself. So, more diagnosis stuff. General diagnosis. Right, I'm sure we can get some new stuff for this. So, windows, because everybody loves being looked at while they're being examined. We're going to have to have a fire extinguisher in every room here, because the earthquakes are going to mean stuff breaks really quickly. Need a radiator because it's cold. Right, what other stuff can we put in here? We've got brain in a jar. Is there any actual diagnosis-based stuff? All right, we'll get weighing scales because it just looks right. What else can we have in here? Or is it all just the other standard stuff? Get a giant pipette. Radiation box. Got critter coot. An arm box. Giggle pump. Ooh, hologram. Hologram is a new one. It's going to cost us almost all our points, though. Mm. Oh, great. I'm going to get that hologram to see what it looks like. Ooh. Plus, we might be able to use it in other rooms as well. So there's our diagnosis room sorted, general diagnosis. We still need, we've got cardiology. We need a decent sized ward and we need to stick a pharmacy and stuff in. Um, and we'll start with pharmacy and stuff on this side. In fact, I might leave that bit blank for a bit more seating space. Yeah. Put a pharmacy down this side. Yeah, these are the levels where they're going to start throwing mad stuff at me, so... Some of them you get, like... Um, you get angrier patients as well. And they will just not want to do anything at all. Um, sometimes you actually have to stick them to the front of each queue and everything like that. Otherwise they'll just not do anything. Yeah, we'll get the medicine cabinet. Because that looks right for the pharmacy. And you need a plant of some kind. Or some nicer decorations. We'll go for a regular old plant for now. 
you don't have a plant, so you can have one. There. So we've got pharmacy. Uh, cardiology, how big do you have to be? Three by three. Yeah, that's fine. Have any of you ever actually had to do cardiology? I did it once for a, a friend's project at, at uni. And it is horrible. It is literally just run yourself ragged while they check your heart rate and stuff. Like, I literally could not walk the next day after doing it. Radiator. Need a plant to make it pretty. We can have a hologram in here as well. Um, do I have room for it? Yeah, tell you what, we'll move you. You fit anywhere around here? Yeah, you can go there. And we'll have a hologram in this corner. Right, so we're going to need a couple of nurses at least. Hi Alex. So, she's quite well qualified. She's a teacher, she's good at treatment and diagnostics. Short temper though. This guy is good on the ward but has a weak ladder. Person is lazy. Right, we'll get the highly qualified one and the one who's good on the ward. Um, not at the moment, but I can make one of these to you. So we start, you have to do it every time you start a new hospital. So, there we go. There we go. Put you in disguise as well. So we need to check temperatures and everything. It's a bit cold there. Got room for a radiator there. That should be good enough. Then we have plants. Got a plant there and we need some drinks machines and stuff so drinks and snacks and a bin and some benches for people to sit on right what else are we gonna need oh yeah they said we need janitors good at repairing stuff don't we so these guys can all repair Hygienic, slightly above average, that's right. So we'll have Rowena. And we'll have Funny and High Energy. Thanks to Life is a rom -com, but you can do upgrades as well. So we'll get you. So there's our janitor sorted. We still need room. So we've got reception, we've got GPs, we've got pharmacy, we've got general diagnosis, we've got cardiology. We still need a ward, we still need psychiatry, and we still need staff rooms and the rest of it. So, we don't have a psychiatrist doctor yet, so let's do a ward. Wards need to be quite big. Yeah, a ward can go there. It will be Doctor Death at first, like no upgrades or anything like that. All of these are starting off as brand new hospitals. So we don't get to have any, seeing as we know how to train people now, 
they won't give us any highly qualified staff. We have to train them all for it. So... No, move you so it's equal. There. Need a radiator, otherwise everybody's going to freeze. Need an extinguisher. Always need hand sanitizer. And we put a plant in there. Yeah, plant at the end of the desk. Tell you what, no. I'm going to make that room bigger. There. More like it. So now. Fits at least five in, that'll do. Yeah, I get awkward with organising the rooms sometimes. still need hand sanitizer, we still need a radiator. Where can we fit one in nicely? Yeah, it's gonna be after dirt have to be over here in it. There. And Anything else we could put on the wall to make it pretty? Gnome. This room can fit a gnome, so it's having one. There. Make sure everything is as pretty as we can make it. And then benches, because this place is going to get busy really fast. Right. Bit of ward. What other rooms do we need? It's okay, do we need staff room and toilets? I'm going to need all of these eventually. But, sort these two out first. If you're at nine, some will do five for the toilets, four for the staff room. No. their own drinks and snack machines. They still have to pay for them because they do, but at least they have access to their own and just their own to use. There, got a staff room. Let's open the hospital. Start getting people in.
Right, what else do we need? Toilets. Cannot be forgetting the toilets. This place is going to need a radiator as well. And a gnome because we can. There. So we've got staff room and toilets. Get this upgraded. It drops us off our first patient. Uh, looks like he's got broken limbs. <laughs> yeah, not forgetting toilets again. Just have people crapping in the corridors. Right. Um. So heat looks alright at the moment. I just need to sort the rest of this out as I expand the hospital. Hi Sherry! Yeah, they, they introduced the gnomes into the game like in one of the earlier patches. As soon as they did, I just started plonking gnomes in the rooms all the time. Any room that would have a gnome, I would put them in. I'd say it's slightly safer than JB's house Brie now, but only slightly. So what else are we going to need? Fracture ward, that's the other thing we're supposed to be building. Turn off this view. Because this is the ward where everybody, the one where everybody starts breaking things. So... Plaster caster, and then you get a traction bed. I'm sure, I can fit two of these in. Yeah. So. Radiators. And then plants to make it comfortable or try to at least there no wrong button right who do we have an anti fracture ward Right, we can have up to two nurses, so I shall bump this up to two. Yeah, if you've not seen this part yet, when you click on the door to a room, you can go to stats and there's some things you can change about it. So for general diagnosis, can't really do anything with it. But with a ward, you can apply extra staff and... If it's used for both diagnosis and treatment, you can block one off. 
So I could click that and just have it as a treatment room or click that and just have it as diagnosis. So there have been times where I've, I've built two wards and had one purely for diagnosis and one for treatment. We're doing all right at the moment, Sherry. So let's get another nurse because we're going to need more. All three of these have ward skills. You're expensive. Got green fingers. Right, so we'll get you. And we'll get you. New illness, Portishead discovered. The doctors have discovered a new illness, Portishead. Portishead affects both body and mind. Once thought to be caused by proximity to sea air. It is it's now known to be chiefly caused by living in Porter's head. We'll send the patient for treatment in our ward. So time to work on making things pretty again. So we need radiators first. Gotta keep everybody comfortable. So radiator there. Radiator there. And we'll stick one at this end as well to cover this bit. Um, need some plants. So the green stuff shows us basically how like the more attractive areas of the hospital. The darker the green it is, the better it looks. So you can turn that off down here. So if I go off this menu. So that's the hospital attractiveness. And then we've got this one here for temperature. So temperature, if it's blue, is a cold area. And it goes all the way up to red for it being too hot. And then this just goes from plain grey to like dark green, depending upon how nice it is. Like there's a couple of others, but I never really bothered with these ones. Like this shows you how thirsty people are. This shows you how good health they're in. How happy they are. Um, how happy staff are, um, how hungry people are, but I tend not to bother with them. Like I probably should at points, but I'm too lazy to. So, oh look, someone just died. This person is just going to fall over dead in a second. And I don't think I have a janitor who can deal with ghosts yet. So if they become a ghost, I am screwed. A group of fracture ward patients have finished their time at Holistics Hospital and are now exfoliated and looking for further treatment. We'll be rewarded if we treat this group of patients should we have them sent here. Cure five patients with a human injury in the fracture ward. Yeah, let's do it. And you need training, but I don't have a training room yet. And dead. So I'm not getting that zero deaths reward this time. And they've been made into a ghost, so there's now nothing I can do about that. People are just going to run around and panic because I don't have a janitor who can deal with them yet. Oh, never mind. Gust has gone. Didn't stick around that long.
Oh no, it just moved over there, bugger. The animations in this game are all brilliant. Like, I'll go around some of the other ones. Um, What else have we got? So these are the little pods we have for the ward instead of normal ward beds. I bought an upgrade for, upgrade for them. So you now get all these. They're basically like cryopods. People can climb inside. If you want, you want promoting, yeah. Uh, there's nobody going to a pharmacy at the moment. Have a look how this traction bed works. Oh no, he died. It's gonna be a rough day that as well. If you come into hospital just to get a cast taken off and end up dead. So, let's follow you. Ah, so they just go in the traction bed a bit. And then they go in there to get their casts and stuff off. There you go, there's a little cardio machine. Promote three staff, that won't take long. So we've got this person about to be scanned. And they literally don't do much in there, they just go on the bed and lie down. See if we can catch them using the actual plaster caster, see what it does. The whole cardiology thing isn't pleasant anyway. Like they're when they do it, they're trying to stress your heart usually, or your lungs, and I had to do it for my lungs for asthma, and it is rough, because they run until you're exhausted and then they say, right, carry on running. Oh wow, it literally uses circular saws. About you. Just expect to turn my sands over here. Um. So, I'm gonna have to jam some of stuff in down here. Um, what other rooms do I need at the moment? Yeah, the ghosts love it. Like, they get to teleport around and all sorts before they run away. They also leave ectoplasm on the floor, which the poor janitors have to clean up. Oh, look, somebody's waiting to go to pharmacy.
Means we should probably get another nurse. Got any available? Yeah. We got emotional intelligence, potential charming, and hygienic. Thinks the life is rom com and are motivated. And they're good at treatment. Guys got a bunch of qualifications. Funny and motivated. And funny and cheater. Right, we'll get you because you've got reduced rate, you've got an award, you've got a diagnostics, and you're motivated. You will do. So the drug mixture machine is quite cool. And it's done. Right, we've got here. New illness, bogwarts discovered. Our doctors have discovered a new illness, bogwarts, a rather disgusting skin condition caused by filthy toilets. It can be cured with an expensive cocktail of drugs carefully prepared in the pharmacy or with witchcraft. We'll send the patient for treatment in our pharmacy. Uh, well done, we cured enough of the patient group, so we cured three out of the five patients from that emergency. Which isn't too bad, considering it's the first emergency we've dealt with in this hospital. Right, so, what do we still need? We've got pharmacy, we've got general diagnosis, we've got cardiology, we've got ward. We don't have a trained psychiatrist yet. We might actually have to train one. So... Let's get a training room. Please don't unplug any vital hospital equipment. Right, uh Yeah, we've got the speed upgrade ones. fit you in? No. Right, uh, we're great. We still need a radiator. And we will just slap a plant down in the middle if we can. There we go. Got a training room. There we go, as our first earthquake warning. Warning seismic activity has been detected in the area. This could damage our machinery. And we need to build a pans lab. Um, you can go home for now. We will fix you later. Yeah, one of the other hospitals it mentions, Bart. So there's like a holistic hospital where they've... Oh, bugger, there's the earthquake. Bits of the ceiling falling down. So look, how's our machine... Oh, oh bugger. Oh, is there somebody already there fixing it? Good. It is time to leave those of your petty, pointless little lives behind and listen to the Everything else looks about alright. Should be good for now. Go on. Not now. So I need to train as a psychiatrist. So we'll get an extra doctor because we've only got two doctors at the moment anyway. Has potential. Yes, you can go in here. So, what's your name? Gil Vinegar. So, trainees. We don't have any of those yet, but we do have Sandy. Sandy can be our psychiatrist. Courses, psychiatry. There. We need research and yeah one of the other hospitals is an entirely holistic hospital so you often get referrals from them because they've not actually cured anyone or they've only partially cured it and there is another hospital as well that runs purely on witchcraft and spells 
we need two of these desks one for each researcher we need some research monitors you've got there a couple of servers for storing data and the room is now too expensive right we will have to leave you for, for a bit new illness hurty leg discovered so our doctors have discovered a new illness hurty leg caused by excessive physical activity it requires a fracture ward we'll send the patient for treatment in our fracture ward and you want training so I'll tell you what we need a psychiatry so let's build a psychiatry and can I get anything nice for in here I know I can get it bought the changing screen in the other one but it is literally just a decoration oh I can't afford the fireplace right it will just have to be as is for now I was hoping we'd be able to buy a, a nice fireplace for the room and then we don't even have to put any heating in it so, radiator, a couple of plants, put a bookcase in, coffee machine because if anybody needs coffee it's a psychiatrist, put a fancy rug in, and a gnome because we can. What else can we give them? Give them some hand sanitizer. That'll do for now. So I'll have a psychiatry and a qualified psychiatrist. So you want promoting and you want three staff training that should be easy enough if you're thinking of checking yourself into a holistics commune or purchasing one of their many visible products i can save you the considerable expense not to mention social embarrassment by offering an alternative simply rub some basil on your dead air and howl at the moon the results will be the same yeah some of the radio Commentators are great as well. Like they get meaner as they go along as well. Especially when you're going to one of the really posh areas. So new illness monobrow discovered. Our doctors our doctors have discovered a new illness monobrow. Extreme hair growth caused by excessive consumption of both highbrow and lowbrow entertainment. The monobrow must be carefully removed and placed in a secure container to prevent it from escaping. We'll send the patient for treatment in our ward. And somebody else wants promoting. And we did the staff challenge because we promoted three people. So, monobrows can actually. Who's done that? We have toilets over here. But it's not far to go. Especially when the queue is like only seven. It's there. There. Right, and we got another fracture emergency. So we'll do that. Right. Um, so there's our psychiatry. This hospital is going to be pretty cramped. Toilets training. Right, we needed to save up for research. And we still need these, don't we? We need a pans lab and a clown clinic. A deluxe. You're 3x3, three three, you're 4x4, four four, you're 4x4. Four four. So we'll build the deluxe room because you're 3x3 three three and you'll fit. 
and we are going to need it at some point. Radiator. There we go. Deluxe clinic. We need another radiator to pull on there. Yeah, this hospital is going to be really cramped. For now, at least, anyway. Where's the other property I can buy? If any. It's plot 3, plot 2. Plot 5. So those two I can buy. If you're looking for a plot, mm. Yeah, bugger it. We'll get this one. Did you have to chase him for, Alex? Did you forget something? Oh no, here come the awards, let's see how badly we've done. Two Point County Healthcare Award Ceremony. Ah, so he's just knocked and left. See, they're actually supposed to wait a fair bit. Like my mate Dave, who's in my Dungeons and Dragons group, he got a job as a postman like just over a year ago now, and he was telling us about all their regulations. And what they're supposed to do is they get to your door, knock, wait 30 seconds, knock again, then they start writing the card, and you have until they finish writing the card to get the parcel from them and they're supposed to knock a final time before they push the card through but apparently what a lot of them do because they can't be asked waiting that long is they will write the card as they're going to your door and they'll just knock wait 30 seconds post the card and leave so we got doctor of the year sandy got doctor of the year our nurse got nurse of the year we're doing all right We got Rising Star, we're doing alright with these rewards. We got Employer of the Year. I know for a fact we're not getting that one. The Orb Foundation. Granted, you can just cheat that one by never making a reception. Yeah, there's a crazy amount of post traffic. Um, it was telling us at this time of year they usually finish around because they start dead early. They start at like seven, sometimes half six in the morning because they've got to sort out all the bags and everything to go in the van before they actually start the pay the round. And he said usually they'll have all their letters and stuff, which will be so many bags, and then they'll have. They'll have to go back with the van for parcels usually. And he says it's usually this time of year, right? This time of like around Christmas last year, it was two, maybe three trips for an area. It's now four or five trips for an area just because there's that many parcels. Plastics. 
Jumbo Mega Corp. Are we going to win any more of these? Most prestigious hospital. Yay. So we got more than half the awards. Yeah, it's like a the company I work for is a is a catalog company. It's an online retailer, and I still get included on all of the sales reports and stuff, even though I don't actually need them anymore. And I know we're making more than double than we did this time last year. Granted, we've had a bunch of improvements from the website. We've like got our own app and stuff now, but more than double the profits this time of year than we had last year. It's crazy. Just because we've just had that much business online. So, we've got an inspection report. Mr. Jobworth has sent us a 30 page report from his recent visit. It's 30 pages, so we haven't read it, but the conclusion reads. Incredibly mediocre with no features that sway the overall product, neither negatively or positively, outside the, of the realm of the ordinary. So, we're not bad, but we're not that impressive either. I'll grade you again. There's our new building. We'll start building stuff there soon. So, still need some more cash for all of these. We've got a fracture ward. Size of you, your 3x3, three three, the injection room. That thing looks creepy. And it's called a jab master as well. Right, what's this thing gonna look like in when it's in use? Probably not very fun. But we shall see. Oh, I think this is the one that people got stuck in last time. Wait, was it this one? I can't remember now, my memory is failing me. We shall wait until they call somebody to it and see. So radiators. We're not going to fit another building in there, so we'll make this into like a little refreshment area and a little waiting area. Or I would if I hadn't, I'd just run out of money. So new illness, potty mouth discovered. Our doctors have discovered a new illness, potty mouth. When the patient opens their mouth, terrible things happen, caused by drinking water from a toilet sink or a toilet. We'll send the patient for treatment in our pharmacy. Don't have anybody queuing for this room yet, but I want to watch it to see what happens. And now, my ever popular guide to good manners. Hey, we got people coming in by helicopter. The first step should Who are you? To decline the invitation. Should that prove impossible? Perhaps you are the best man or heaven forfend to groom. Then pay attention to every detail of the scene and banquet so you may later criticize. Yeah, it doesn't sound nice, does it, Manu? was going to be a little refreshment area. these so it doesn't block no it's just gonna block off the plant either way so 
we will do it this way. Stick some more benches in. Because we always need more benches. Why are you being weird? Ah, oh, it's because it's too close to the magazine rack, is why. There you go, Deluxe Clinic is always a fun one to watch. Yeah, it's the same with all of them, Alex. Like, even the people who come in with the broken legs and stuff, they make them walk to reception first. Nobody gets any help whatsoever. Didn't cure enough, I only cured two out of five. Ah, oh, it's because they're still in there. Let's we even afford to do any training? Trainees available. What have we got? What can you be trained in? Courses. Yeah, let's get Alex's GP qualification, shall we? I think we need more janitors. <clears throat> yeah, you can see the hospital starting to get a little clogged now. Just a little bit. So, janitors have only got two, but we've got guys who can deal with ghosts now. So, your ghosts and maintenance and. Yeah, we'll take Jasmine. Jasmine's a good one. Yeah, we're not having an angry janitor. You're good at maintenance, works for peanuts. But we can't afford you at the moment because our expenses have just come through. If you ever write defiantly when you mean definitely, I shall hunt you down and beat you Look. over the head with an umbrella. Run it again. Toilets are over there. Why are none of you using them? Yes. Dirty bastards. Right. So once we've got a bit more money, we'll start filling this out with researchers and stuff. No, you can go away, I can't afford it at the moment. Oh, that's what I should do. There is staff policy. Whack you up to 100%. Put the warning up to 10. So this way now we won't treat people unless we're 100% sure of what they've got. I forgot to change this. I should have done this at the start otherwise would have got lost deaths. Queue warning led. So we won't get warnings about a room now unless the queue is 10 people or longer. And then We'll turn fast track on because this means 
normally when people are fully diagnosed they have to go back to the gp and the gp goes right you've got this we're going to send you for treatment now when they reach 100 percent diagnosis they just get sent straight for treatment so that should help us a little bit messing around with that. We don't have room to at the moment. Train three staff. So we are literally just waiting for more cures now to get our rank up. See, this is the bit that tends to be a bit boring. Just tweaking stuff and adding a few bits in to get... Oh, watch everybody panic now as somebody's died down here. And there's another earthquake coming. Oh no. Seismic activity has been detected in the air. Right, let's see if anybody gets hurt by falling ceiling or something. See, some of them just don't give a crap about the ghost. Like you got these people stood here, like, screaming and running around. Guy here doesn't give a shit. Oop, another earthquake. Right, let's check on our machines. You're alright. You're all right. Not now. You're all right. You're both all right. You're fine. You're fine. Send you home. Can't afford a pan's lab yet, unfortunately. Oh look, it's that weird suspended tile roofing that everybody had at school. Fracture emergency. Yeah, we'll do it. Look, there's a monobrow. Little bugger just snug under it here. Escaped monobrows. You shoot them as well. Gotcha. So we need to build a pans lab soon. But we also need to upgrade stuff, so. We'll upgrade you. We've received some reports of an earthquake which has caused particular damage to one of the counties. Oh, people dropping like flies. One must never be without insurance. And I heartily recommend Swindle's insurance, who in no way paid me to endorse them. This is not going well. Yeah, our cure rates dropped down to like 30% as well. Yeah, I'm thinking it's just because we're so cramped. You know what? Next time I might have to just... I might end up having to redo this level. Can't remember what the failure, failure state is. Can't remember if there even is one.
All oh, right, so if I go too far into debt, then yeah, they will kick me out of the hospital. And I will fail. So, it has not happened yet. But it might happen this time. Right. You can hear that bell tolling. People are just dropping like flies. And we really need to... Right, bugger it. I'm going to get a lawn. You. And let's build a pans lab. Yeah, if you reach minus 200,000, you fail the level. I have not seen it happen yet. Like in the old theme hospital game, you used to get like scandal headlines that would pop up. So you'd get like a little animation. It would turn out one of the doctors was sleeping with a nurse or something like that. And it'd be like one of those old time, you know, the like splash cover headlines and show up. Right. There, we've got a pans lab. We can make a bit of extra cash off those people. Three out of five, so we did it. Oh, no. Tell you what, I am probably going to make another GP or so. Promote, promoting is always worth it. Yeah, I'll build one more GP's office. Slap it down. Where's the door? There. Um, yes. And then put some windows down this side. Yeah, the hospital definitely haunted the amount of deaths we've had so far. I would be surprised if it wasn't. There. So we've got an extra GP's office to help take a bit of the load off. And yeah, let's upgrade this while we can afford it. We're not going to be able to do that. Right. How much staff do we have? Right, we need more doctors. You are unhygienic, but that's something we can deal with. Your house potential, your qualified resource. Uh, have you. So that puts us up to. Five doctors, five nurses, two assistants, four janitors. 
shall never know such opulence. I think we need a couple of more nurses because we've got two rooms waiting for them. Doctors should be alright, but tell you what, we'll offer one more of each, shall we? So your we'll do the review first, see if we get anything from it. So Doctor of the Year is Gil. Nurse of the Year is Arthur. Both of them are ours. Rising Star is Wendy, who is ours. Employer of the Year is me. No Deaths. Yeah, we're not getting that. Jumbo Megacorp. Best teaching hospital is Holistics. Patient's choice. Not gonna be us because if you come here you die. Holistics. And then most prestigious. Bungle. Oh we got half the awards, that's alright. Give us a bit of a bonus. Fracture emergency, yes. We will take it. So, yeah, GP's queues aren't that bad anymore. They're hovering around 10, which is fine, it's manageable. I think that's where our slowdown was coming from as well. Because there were so many people waiting for GP's offices, it was taking them forever to get everywhere else. Means they were losing health and dying by the time they got there. So. Training required? No, not yet. We have more important people to train. Impress the VIP. So, uh, trainees available. All of you are pretty qualified. We will get Arthur and we'll make you better in the ward. So courses, ward management two. There. Uh oh, another earthquake. You better get upgrading quick. Yeah. But you're alright because you're being upgraded anyway. You're being repaired. You're fully repaired. You need fixing. Ah, but they're alright. Janitors are on top of it at the moment. Yeah, a lot less people dying now. Now we've brought down the GP's queues a bit. I might just slap another one in in case. Where's the door gone? There. There. Another GP's office. That'll bring the queues right down. So we need a radiator. Need. need some plants. And then we don't have any refreshment stuff in here, so drinks machine. Snake machine. There. So 
we just need to up our cure rate now, which with this having an extra GP's hospital GP's room, they are all queues under ten. Three out of five. So yeah, as long as we can get our cure rate up, we will get our first star. What's attractiveness like? You're just because that plant's dying. All the plants are looking pretty knackered. Get ourselves another janitor and stick him just on plant duty. High energy. Funny. Green fingers, that's what we want. So you... So you're upgrading. So you're only for upgrading. For plants. And for ghosts. That's all you're doing. Still getting lots of deaths. Like you can see all those hearts emptying out. That's people near death. For whatever reason. So you're what? 63%. Tell you what. See if we can grab a bunch of these low health ones and just send them for treatment. It's probably a really bad idea, but Most of them have got quite high diagnosis already, so... You can see there, 80 to 99%, 79%, so... Not too bad. New illness, jazz hand discovered. Our doctors have discovered a new illness, jazz hand, a hand injury caused by too much enthusiastic thumb clicking, hand waving and skin burns resulting from prolonged exposure to acid jazz. We'll send the patient for treatment in our ward. So a group of ward patients were kicked out of a jumbo hospital for questioning treatment methods and are now looking for further treatment. We'll be rewarded if we can treat this group of patients, shall we send them here? Six patients report his head. Yeah, you'll do. New illness, lycanthropy discovered. Our doctors have discovered a new illness, lycanthropy. Once thought to be extinct, lycanthropy is making a comeback in dangerous forests across the land. Sufferers get it from direct exposure to light from the full moon or possibly from door handles. Research is ongoing to discover which. We'll send the patient for treatment in our pharmacy. So, So, that'll be those people I sent for random curing. And we are still losing money.
So we had way too long queues because I only had two GP's offices. So people were waiting around ages before they could even get seen. So I've sorted that now with an extra two GP's rooms, but queues are still backed up a bit. Plus, I sent a lot of people who were partway diagnosed to try and cheer them. That turned out to be a bad idea. So you got this guy, what are you waiting for? Pharmacy. You're position one, but you're waiting for a nurse. Right, I'll tell you what. You're fully qualified. But you're argumentative. Bugger it will take you. And we'll get a nurse. We're good at treatment. You're boring but you're hygienic. You will do. Yeah, we've got the queues down. We're just low on staff at the moment. So couple of extra staffs would sort it. And we need to fudge this a bit. Where are the VIPs? Our oh, VIPs are done. Five out of six, just because the sixth one didn't get done in time, is still in there. That's not bad. So yeah, we just need our cure rate up at the moment. And it's mainly our cues that is causing that problem. You know what, I might build another ward actually. Double it up, go for one diagnosis and one treatment. So, door. Pods. means I'll need to hire a few more nurses but hey look one star award hospital's been awarded a one star rating by the two point health ministry you're doing a smashing job of gluing back together all those witless activity bandits I've never seen the appeal of pursuits al fresco myself land should be owned and profited from not used as a venue for wanton perambulation continue with your osteological upkeep for more awards or go elsewhere and expand your organisation so we've unlocked a new hospital to go to soon, and we've unlocked the small radiator. So, for two stars we need 100 patients, cure rate of 70% and hospital value of 1 million. That will take a while, and it might take actually redoing the hospital to achieve it. So... What time is it? Yeah, seven o'clock. So that's a second ward built for two nurses, and you are going to be the treatment ward. So you are treatment only. And you are now diagnosis only. So what I'm going to do, 
saying is I have to go and sort out food and stuff. Is I am going to finish the stream here with one final earthquake. And I will try and get our two and three stars off stream. And I will come back and show you what the hospital was like again. Because this is a bit of a mess at the moment, so he needs a lot of cleaning up. So, head to the map. What can I say about Flemington? With its beautiful winter gardens, its magnificent mansions, and its resident dukes, barons, and baronets. Death the ward, yeah. <laughs> like the pods are slightly better than the regular beds, and they fit in easier as well. So yeah, there's the new hospital that we unlocked, Flemington, the wealthy town, so that's got a lot of rich people in it, but this one I will go back and I will try and get to level 3 before the next stream. And here is the previous hospital we did, just in case for the people who didn't see it, this was a teaching hospital and a research hospital. So here's this one. So there's our little research area where Manu works. So this one took a whole lot of reorganising to get everything fitting in properly. But I will try and do that with the hospital we've just been on to get it all up to level 3. But for now I am going to go in search of food. So I will be back with you all again on Saturday and I'll be continuing Deliver Us The Moon as well. So it'll be around the same time starting so it'll be round about 5.30 in the afternoon like UK time. But for now let's look for somebody to raid shall we. And thank you all for coming. Let's see who's online that I know. Oh, Alex is going live in a few moments, so let's go and raid and say hello to Alex, shall we? So he's playing Bug Snacks. Or I believe he's playing Bug, Bug Snacks. Yeah. And I shall see you all Saturday, those of you can watch. Bye, everybody. And. Thanks for tuning in.